a lot on the line Good here morning between... once again to everybody yes, watching right now on the number one sports well, website in the Philippines, sports.abs-cbn.com and on the YouTube account of ABS-CBN Sports. I'm Anton Ross together with Andrew Mulyakanda as we bring you our coverage of UAAP Season 81. It and all begins here. First, this is the beach volleyball the tournament, and University. right now we have, we have a matchup between Ernest the University of the Philippines the Lady Maroons and the Jackson. number two ranked De La Salle University Lady Spikers for the right to advance to the finals to face the two time defending champions, University of Santo Tomas. And in this matchup, we have the much anticipated. Lady Spikers From debut of, of former Ateneo Lady Eagle Michelle Morente. And there she is, right in between Tintin Tiamzon and the reserve May Luna. So, what are your initial thoughts and on Mitch Morente as a Lady Spiker? Well, We've known that for quite a while, but it's very interesting to actually see in person, you yes. know, that, that she's uh, suited up for the girls in green. And today, I guess, it's just really um, exciting, you know, to see her on a different uh, on, a, on a different team, different side. And I'm sure even Michelle is very excited to play. It was her decision. She stands by it. Not a popular one. But she is proud to be where she is right now. And she wants to start off her career with La Salle with a bang. And we are officially underway here in the stepladder semifinals. And Michelle Morente gets the first point. One of the advantages of uh, DLSU against UP right now is the fact that UP, meron ng pago dyan na to. They yes. already played three sets earlier this morning. So fatigue will be a big factor in the way they move and in the way they will play against La Salle. You're right about that. And that was the sixth time na umabot sa three sets ang isang laban sa women's tournament. And uh, I'm seeing... Uh, Don Carlos and some other UP Lady Maroons in the stands right now as they are cheering. I see Ayel Estranero also there. And they were one of the loudest cheers yeah. earlier while the girls were warming up. And even now, showing their support, dancing at the bleachers at Ton. <laughs> so full support for the UP Lady Maroons. And why not? They just won a championship in the PBL Open Conference. Oh, that's a sharp serve right there by Dora. Ooh! Did, did, did they jump over Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> she had to find a way to get that ball through, but good showing by our UP girls. Showing no signs of uh, you know, being tired. Wow. Earlier match. I, I think the Lady Maroons are energized by the support of their teammates in the stands. I'm sure uh, Coach Noel or Julio, maybe even Coach... Oh, yeah, I see Coach Noel now. <laughs> He's over there in the media tent. <laughs> I always see Coach Noel when, when there's a beach volleyball event with the Lady Spikers. So it's a great atmosphere here at the Sands SM by the Bay. And we'd like to thank everybody who are watching right now via live streaming. Maraming maraming salamat po. Oh. Not a good start for La Salle. Yeah, this is the first time that we are covering Michelle Morente as a DLSU Lady Spiker. And here she is, setting up Tiamzon for the attack. Tiamzon off the hands of Goro. Now it's Morente looking to tie up the game. It's crazy how... Tiamzon will be playing in her fourth year already. Only seems like yesterday that she was one of the new players for La Salle. And she's a three-time champion. Oh, well, trying to make the most out of that set. 
Six to five in favor of the Lady Spikers. Oh, over receiving that serve was Moldet Yamson again. Lasal is not holding back early on, Ann. And uh, they're giving it their all. Well, kanina, na dumikit ng konti ang uh, But they're play playing a steady game right now. Dorog will hit. Morente was there. Tiamzon gets it to Morente. And look at the form of Mitch Morente. And we saw her look on the other side before she actually punched the ball over. Rozier saying dahan dahan dang to her teammates as uh, LaSalle has a three point lead now. Oh, Morente. Morente just playing smart volleyball right now. Nagahanap lang ng butas on the other side. Morente gets that one in. Molde. And Issa Molde will get the point. Yamzon acknowledging her uh, mistake. Morente. Yamzon. Uh, long. Here, very, very vocal, right, right beside us here, uh, trying to support her teammates on the floor. And that's also a good thing. Again, in beach volleyball, they don't have coaches, so it's good that you hear from someone watching from the outside. Molde. She'll get it back here for the attack. Ooh! But Tim Tim Tiamzon times that block perfectly. The LSU trying to find ways to pull away. Well, when they played uh, UP in the elimination round, they won in straight sets, 21-17, 21-14. Talking about Masal. Of course, they only lost to UST in the elimination round. And UP calls a timeout. DLSU so far dominating in this first set. the UP squad. Yep, they're up on their feet. The whole time, huh? <laughs> they haven't sat down, actually. And now, it's LaSalle's turn to talk things over here, Anne. Things are... Uh going quite well. There's a uh, five-point lead na kailangan hagulin ng uh, UP.
come to our halfway point now in the match. Majoy Baron is in attendance. Former UAP MVP and multiple time champion. Yes, Chang, I think also there. Yep, that's right. I actually can see them better with our uh, LASIK yeah. eyes. <laughs> LASIK the, vision. Then, then, the, then the screen. I, we can see them from here, Anne. I'm proud to say, yeah, I can see them. <laughs> better than we do on the screen. Because, <laughs> you know, the, the, the sun is uh, up high and uh, it's very bright. These are the things that you also consider when you're playing beach volleyball. The time that these girls are playing, it's when the sun is, is really out. The heat, the heat also. That's right. Right now, it's 11.10 in the morning. As Molde sets Dorog up. And Tiamzon on the attack. Molde looking for the corner. Tiamzon was there. Morente. Giving it to Tiamzon, what a smart play. What's nice about the way LaSalle is moving is that you see they try yung first ball nila, most of their first balls. Tinataas talaga nila, they try to slow it down and that gives, gives ample time for the second touch or the setup. Sal continues to cruise here. It is now a six-point lead for the tandem of Morente and Tiamzon. Si Mitch nag-sorry pa rin sa mga... Uh, fellow Lasallians, oh. eh. <laughs> kahit uh, hindi naman sila nagko-coach, but she knows where they are seated watching this match. Ooh. Morente with the attack. But a net Ooh. violation? Is that a net touch? <laughs> hey, again, Michelle a, can't believe it. <laughs> sayang eh, point na. But if she touched the net first before the ball landed, then it would be called as a violation. Sabi niya, sayang, ganta ng palo niya. <laughs> it's that classic Mitch Morente hit. Morente will chase this one. Tiamzon getting that ball as high in the air as possible. Oh, oh Tiamzon with a dive. The effort was there. Good thinking by Dorog. And Tiamzon calls a timeout. There you see the UP Lady Maroons up on their feet. They've been like that the entire time since this match started. Yamzon, drop ball. Them. 
Yamson gets that one in. Molde. Got to the ball ahead of Yamson. Morente. And just a smart play by Mitch Morente. And they've been going for that angle. To help them get the points. So now, okay, pa, no? still successful. The UP defense still unable to get that. The Sal now just three points away from taking this one in the first set. Molde. Oh, <laughs> good effort from the Amazon. Morente, Tiamzon, easy, just too easy for the Lady Spikers. Well, earlier in the earlier match, actually, UP had a bit of a slow start, but nakita natin ang kanilang turnaround was in the second set. We'll see if they can do a repeat of that. Oh! Too far on the attack there. Five point lead for LaSalle, 19 to 14. Again, LaSalle's only loss was against UST, and that match was 21 14, 21 14 in favor of Cece Rondina and her partner, beloved Barbot. And now, D. Set point for LaSalle. 20 to 14. Molde. Oh. And she returns the same way LaSalle is scoring. A lot of respect between these two teams. They are still in this game. Five point deficit. The pressure is on. Molde. Yamzon gets it in the air. Morente. Dorog. Isa will hit. And Yupi still holding on. Asal just needs one point to close out this set. But Yupi really trying to play smart. Can they get a deuce? Yamson. Oh, Yupi is still, still in this one, Ann. Well, let's see. But Morente with the hit. Wow. Finishing what she started in this set, Ann. That's also a good start. Morente also really making her press felt. UAP Season 81 Beach Volleyball Tournament. We welcome you back to our live coverage on sports.abs-cbn.com and on our YouTube channel, ABS-CBN Sports. This is our coverage of UAP Season 81 Beach Volleyball. And we have the Step Ladder Semifinals matchup between De La Salle University and UP. Of course, the Lady Spikers finishing number two in the elimination round have a twice to beat advantage. And after taking set number one, all they have to do is take this set to advance to the finals to take on the two-time defending champions, UST. Led, of course, by CC Rondina, who is watching right now. Morente, Tiamzon, right down the middle. Great teamwork we're seeing from Tiamzon and Morente. Oh, 
Oh! Miss hit there from Miss hit by Molde. Very difficult to get a spike. And that is difficult though, when you're playing beach volleyball and the ball, you're hitting the ball coming from a high um, dig or a high set. Mahirap yan because you're hitting ka and the sky is so bright. Toro. Morente. Tiamzon. And we're seeing the evolution of Tin Tiamzon as a lady spiker. And she will have a much bigger role for Coach Ramil de Jesus in the indoor tournament with the departure of Kiana D. Overset gets them that point. Oh, Morente sending that one straight to the net. Apologizes again to her teammates. Morente has to chase. Tiamzon getting that one back to the UP side. Molde to Dorog. Ball is in the air. Morente. Tiamzon. What a hit. Wow. Powerful cross-court kill for Tim and General Tiamzon. Also good effort on the part of UP. But it's not that easy. Let's see. Molde will hit. Morente was there. Morente gets it over. Seeing some errors there from Morente, starting with that uh, service error, followed by that hit. Oh. Matches. Morente gets that one in. Molde. Oh, right in between Morente and Yamzon. Miss Red that attack. Now, looking at the finals, it is a Good Best of three. So back to square one, and mm -hmm. for whoever makes it to the finals. So before getting to that, they have to face this match first. Again, for UP, they need to beat DLSU twice. For DLSU, it's closing out this game that will get them to the finals. And this is a good thing for the teams who are playing in the step ladder because a few years back there was a tries to be the advantage for a team who used to sweep. So now, it's not that. It's hard to make a tries to be. It's hard now. It's really hard to work with the teams if they try to beat the tries to be format. Although we have seen uh, some teams in, in different leagues who have been able to overcome yun nga, yung, yung tries to beat advantage na yun. So, hindi naman imposible. Pero mahirap. Pero mahirap. Not impossible, but it's, it's difficult. Although that makes the victory and, and, the, and winning much, much sweeter. Exactly. Oh, Morente. Morente has had a couple of service errors here. Service errors and miscalculation with her return. Two point deficit for you. Molde. Morente just tipping it over. Dorog. 
Morente praying for that ball to go over, and it did, and they get that point. I, I heard her screaming. <laughs> Ball there. Tiamzon to Morente. Morente powers it into the hands of Doro. Trying to get that one handed receive. Not enough control for UP. DLSU pulling away 11 to 7. Molde on the attack. Tiamzon will give it back to Morente. Oh, wonder shot going from backwards. Straight Far to the Doro to pick up. And they're going to call a timeout. And out. UP will talk things over. They call a timeout. Sal currently leading UP 12 to 7. And if the Sal wins this set, they will advance to the finals to play CC Rodina and Love Barbon. USD, of course, the two-time defending champions of the UAP Beach Volleyball Tournament. And CC is very relaxed. She's just texting. <laughs> Scouting. She's dancing. Dancing. <laughs> Well, she's already uh, done it all in this tournament anyway. Three-time MVP and three-time champion. As we have a technical timeout, LaSalle holding on to a three-point advantage. UP needing this win in the second set to stay alive in the match. Dynamite Doro serving. Oh, starting off with a strong serve. So this is what UP needs. They can't give up. Despite not having won against La Salle in any set here in this tournament so far. Morente gets that ball in the air. Morente will attack. Molde. Looking for the corner. The Jedi Molde gets that point. Molde gets that one in. Morente. Tiamzon will attack. Isa in the middle. And now it's Morente's turn to try to respond. 
Good rally going here. Oh! oh! <laughs> that touched the line. Piamzon and Morente thinking it was already on its way out. Yamzon. Molde. Dorog. Variety of hits coming from Dorog. And a timeout called by DLSU. 13 all. One on wow. comeback from the University of the Philippines. Morente and Yamzon are going to talk things over with this timeout. Mitch Morente and Tintin Yamzon looking to advance to the finals to play UST. But of course, not making it easy for them are the UP Lady Maroons, but Yamzon right away gives the lead back to LaSalle. Back to their side of the court. The general now to serve. Oh, <laughs> deceiving Lasal that time. Wow, this is a tight match. Definitely a better set for UP. The crowd is getting fired up. We are all tied again at 14. UP serving for the lead. Yamzon. Yeah, Morente and Mitch Morente is able to score, giving the lead back to the Sox. Oh, that one too strong again. These errors are not helping the Sox's cause. Well, they're up one set. As you know, this second set has been much, much closer. Looks like we're going to go down to the wire here. I yep, so on. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Masa been an eventful day. We will have new champions in the Salita men's Lala division Lala because USD's Jaron Requinton and Kurong Arbasto dethroned Brian Bagunas and James Natividad. So women's division of the defending champions, two-time defending champions. UST is waiting for the winner of this matchup between LaSalle and UP. Of course, UP has to beat LaSalle twice if they want to make it to the finals. Morente. Point goes to LaSalle. LaSalle doing it one point at a time. Ooh, still not successful for Morente. Lack of control at the service line for LaSalle, quite costly. Morente getting that one over. Oh! Wow! Korok just so smart. And UP has taken the lead. And really, there is no room to relax for both teams. Especially for LaSalle. What has really cost them this set is the number of errors that they've been committing. Yamzon on the attack. Set was a bit too far for Yamzon, but uh, with the help of the net, she gets that point. Dorog drop ball. Morente gets it in the air. Yamzon just tipping it down. Two straight points for LaSalle, and they have the lead once again. That's a 
will be a test for UP, how far they can stretch. Oh. Oh, man. LaSalle just one point away from advancing to the finals. Now Rondina is watching. <laughs> Full attention on the match at hand. Molde. The ball is in the air! And Yuffie is still breathing here! They have come to within one! And look at the Daily Maroons. They've left their uh, <laughs> shade and now they're on the edge. They're on the edge of the balcony. Buhay na buhay! Cheering for their teammates. Gamzon, Morente for the finals! Morente with the attack! Great reception by Isa Molde. But they're gonna give up a free ball here. Dorog back to Isa Molde! And we will go to an extension. My oh my! <laughs> and the Lady Maroons are cheering, jumping up and down. Why not? This is a good way to extend this match. And we've seen the Lady Maroons do it oh. in the earlier game, but not with that service error. There's too much power on that serve. And you can see the frustration in her face. Sayang, ano? That's a point given away to LaSalle. Now LaSalle just needs one point to close out this set. Molde. Morente. Morente! Outside That's outside. UP is still alive. They don't want to end the set. It seems <laughs> like it. <laughs> wow. Morente had two chances, Anne. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, at, at this time in the match, we're seeing a lot of uh, you know these errors. Too La many giveaways. LaSalle hasn't been in the final since they won it in 2015. UAP season 78. So that's what they're gunning for right now. Isa Molde and Justin Dorog are making it hard for them though. Tin Tin Yamzon with a smart play. Well, they need to play smarter. They need to be more consistent also. Again, the score the score has tied because of the number of errors that LaSalle has committed. It, it's not helping also that uh, UP is playing smart. Molde gets it in the air. Dorog, Morente, Tiamzon. Not yet. Molde! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We are loving this match right here. UP is still holding on. Their teammates, full support. Morente over receives that one. Dorog, Molde for the lead. Morente was there. Morente will hit. Molde was there. Dorog sends it to the back, over the line. And Lasal is back at match point. 23 22. Hold on to your seats, folks. Morente gets that one in. Doro to Molde. Tiamzon was there. Could this be it? Didn't it, Tiamzon? Oh. <laughs> Too much spice on that spike. Oh, the frustration in her face could have been their last point already. And you know what? Earlier, Majoy Baron, Desiree Chang were sitting down. Now they're standing up also. Si Coach Noel na lang yung nakaupo pa. <laughs> Lahat ng players, ah, UP side, LaSalle side, all that are present today. Yep, they are uh, on their feet. Yamzon. And again, LaSalle is back at match point. This has been the story <laughs> of this second match. Or should I say second set. Neck and neck action. A tug of war for the lead. Who will get the win? Dorog. Ooh, that's on the line! I think these girls got used to playing indoor volleyball until 25. 
But then again, you know, this second set is a good sign for both teams. You see how uh, hard, talaga ang, ang galing ng kapit, no, ng parehong uh, kupuna. No one is giving up. Oh, that's over. Molde, for the lead, Yupi. And this is huge, and because this is the first time UP is at set point. And right now, even if LaSalle has that uh, one set advantage, UP is actually looking sharp. Parang hindi sila napagod. They played three sets earlier. Oh, UP survives! UP extends this one to a deciding third set. Wow! Very good showing of attitude for uh, both uh, our UP girls. What incredible heart shown by the UP Lady Maroons. We will be back for set number three. Here we go, back at it at the Sands SM by the Bay for the UAP Season 81 Beach Volleyball Tournament. The Thon Ross together with Anne Remulia Kanda for this matchup between LaSalle and UP. And incredible fighting spirit shown by Isa Molde and Justin Dorog to extend this match to a deciding third set. Molde, Morente. Gets it to Tiamzon. Molde will give up a three ball. Oh, it's well a lucky one. Oh, things going well here for UP. Putting out her mind games. First point going to Good UP. presence of mind for the Lady Maroons. Error at the service no, line. What's going to hurt? Over LaSalle's first point of the service set. error there by Molde. Service error is actually something that hurt LaSalle in that second uh -huh, set, and that's yeah. why you know they, they had a difficult time. Dorog could not get Into it the over. Net there Justin Dorog. Two points in a row now off of the errors of UP for DLSU. Morente. Molde. Down Goes to the, the back. Molde. Back it to seems back like attacks for UP. UP has reached the higher gear here in this match. Outside on the That's serve outside from Justine though, Dorog. Just Dorog. LaSalle will take the lead at our first court switch. For those of you who don't know, in beach volleyball, every five points, nagpapalitan ng course ang ating mga manglalaro dahil hanggang 15 lamang ang ating puntos. Oh! oh wow. And lucky even the lucky breaks are going UP's way. Nakakarami na yan, ha? off the tape of the net. Molde looking on. Sharp serve. Morente. For Tiamzon. Right and down Tiamzon the middle. Is able to score. Powers it down for Lasan. Morente. Morente. Dorog. Tiamzon has to chase this one. Morente gets it to the LaSalle side. Molde is going to attack. Tiamzon punching it over. 
Wow, it's it's back and forth. <laughs> it's back and forth. A lot of things. Literally oh, back and forth. Wow, what a, save what from a rally. Ooh. Well, you know what? That was a three ball bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> the longest rally the we've had by far, which ended with a point from a free ball. But I think, you know, both teams, it's, they're just really <laughs> tired. Fatigue is already coming into play. You see, I. Both of them, kung hindi pwede nang hindi gumalaw. They could not set up oh. any offense there. And right now, Yuki has the momentum, man. Ngayon, ang kailangan nila kapit. And because both teams are already tired, they need presence of mind, they need to reduce the number of errors that they've been committing. Oh! oh. What is Just that about? <laughs> Lasal is probably Second thinking, what is happening switch. here? Crucial you know what, I now. really think that Issa Molde and on. Justin Dorog are inspired by the, the entire Lady Maroons team who are on their feet at the edge of the balcony and then you have a very active Roslyn Rozier cheering them After on. The when you have that type of support, goal. That There's that extra motivation to not let them down. The I think also they're thinking they've gone this far. Yes. I mean, they, they won the knockout game in three sets. Now they have a chance to get game one against the Lady Spikers. Smart move from Chamson going for a line but of ball. ever so no one there at the front of the court for UP. Able to tie things up here at and six. And just like that, the game is tied up. Again, this is only up to 15 all. because we are here already in set number three. Molde giving it to Dorok. Morente gets it in the air. She will get a chance to attack. Over set and she tips it over, making, it making sure that she did not touch the net. Oh. <laughs> Outside serve from Chamson. And we have another tied game. Going to well. Close this game. Keep it up, guys. Keep firing. Let's go. Molde. Morente. Chamson powers it down. Powers it down the line. Uh, Lasala has to work on shifting the momentum back on their side. Tricky going up against UP because they have a lot of things, you know, up their sleeves. And daming suerte, they have a lot of uh, points na nakukuha <laughs> like that. Justin Dodo ties the game once again. UP is such a patient team. Yeah. They're very patient. You don't, even if they're down, you don't see them pressured in the way they move. Zon, Morente, Dorog was there. Molde will give it back to Dorog on the attack. Now it's Lasal's turn. Tiamzon. Wow, there's there's the libero skills on display by just Dorog, who was a libero Tiam during her sophomore season. But Tiamzon plays basic volleyball, but it's very effective. And they will need to play consistently. Oh, that time. No boost and swerve and UP. And now Isabel there and Doro call a timeout. An time important out one at that. Set. DLSU five points away from closing this set and gaining the match, moving them on to the finals to face off against the University of Santo Tomas. We have Ernestine Chanson serving. Here we go. LaSalle with a 10 to 8 lead here in set number three. They want to advance to the finals to face UST. Mitch Morente, and Mitch Morente in her DLSU debut 
looking good. UP looking for a stop. They've had a few lapses in three. this set, but but you know it's good that the, they're playing better when it matters the most. Hindi lang pwedeng magrelax if you're up against UP. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. She answered me by saying, who's relaxing? Getting fired up on their side of the court. Now that was Two, something three, right there. Tim Tim Yamson. Putting something extra on that we spike. The UP squad on For the LaSalle feet. fans, that is a good sign. And the service ace for Tintin Tin Tiamson. LaSalle smelling a return to the finals. Two points away from closing the game. They were the champions in season 78. Dorog. Ball is in the air and Dorog Yuki is still breathing. Yet, they are still and in here they game. come again. Man. Cross court kill. Just in the end of the game. Gusto nila yung digitan, parang yung nangyari nung second set. Yeah. Ooh, that's oh, gotta that hurt. On he said it. And the sound now at match GLSU point. LSU for the match and a place in the finals. Si Rondina and Baby Love Barbon are waiting in the finals. USD is the two-time defending champion. Molde, Torog, ball is in the air. It goes to the UP side, oh. it goes over, Dorog and the Sal is back in the finals of the UAP Beach in Volleyball Tournament. Congratulations to the UP gave it a good Johnson. fight, what a game. What but a LaSalle match. showing how hungry Let's they are to be back to in the finals. Let's give them so the tandem of Mitch Morente and Tin Yamson advance to the finals. LaSalle is back in the Beach Volleyball Finals for the first time since UAP Season 78 when they won the tournament. So what a what a day for us, Anne, as uh, this is just the first half of our Beach Volleyball weekend. <laughs> Tomorrow we will have the finals in the men's uh, between USD and FEU at the women's naman, we will have LaSalle taking on USD. So, it's been a very eventful day and uh, once again, me and Anne would like to thank you all for watching. What can you say, Anne, about what we just witnessed, this tandem of Mitch Morente and Tintin Tiamzon? Well, a lot of people have been looking forward to seeing Mitch Morente suited up in green, but I think today, you know, this tandem just really showed us that talagang may kapit. they really want to get back to the finals. Um, a bit shaky in, in, in the mid part of, of the match, but it's also a good learning experience for the girls because it teaches them what they need to prepare for as they face a tough USD team. Yep, it's a new tandem with mm -hmm. Cici Rondina and Baby Love Barbon. But of course, USD Two-time defending champion Cici Rondina is a three-time beach volleyball MVP, three-time beach volleyball champion. So that should be a good matchup, and that will happen tomorrow. But before that, we start things off at 8 a.m. in the men's finals. Mm -hmm. FU also swept the elimination round. They will play USD, who dethroned NU today. What can you say, Anne, about what we saw from the tandem of Krong Arbasto and Jaron Requinton? Well, very aggressive, uh, you know, bunch of... Uh, players. Ang maganda dito, halo yan eh. May bata ka pa. So a lot of uh, experience pa over the years. But it's a good sign that, uh, you know, seeing how they played this year, tough, resilient, um, a lot of aggressiveness. At uh, hindi takot. Napakatapang nitong uh, uh, pair na to. So really looking forward to what we will see and how they will play in the finals. So once again, we are inviting all the volleyball fans tune in tomorrow, 8 a.m. still here at sports.abs-cbn.com and of course via YouTube. Subscribe na sa ABS-CBN Sports. So, and final words before we say goodbye? Well, thank you for joining us uh, today. <laughs> it was an exciting match. Anton and I enjoyed yep. the coverage. Uh, it was a very breezy atmosphere <laughs> here. We loved it. We absolutely loved the fans who came out.
And we hope all of you guys come out here at the Sands SM by the Bay tomorrow starting at 8 a.m. Once again, this is Andrew Mulyakanda. I'm Anton Ross saying thank you all for watching. And we will see you all again next time for more beach volleyball action in UAP Season 81. It all begins here.